everyone and good morning. I am in my bathroom. I haven't had a day to myself in so long. It's the middle of the week. I am very tired. I've had a really, really busy, crazy month as a lot of you will know. And I just thought I'd spend the day with you guys, get ready, chill, focus on me, my skincare. Like I've really been neglecting my skin and my general well-being, I think. I have um, some video calls later for fee that I need to take. So I want to slap on some makeup, but just relax and talk to you guys and do all that kind of fun stuff. So this video is actually kindly sponsored by Current Body. And if you've seen all my other socials, I'll leave my Instagram handles here. Then you'd have seen the product that I've been trying out for a week. I'll show it to you guys sneak peek in the rest of the video. I washed my hair last night, blow dried it. I've had a real, I feel like my new favorite word is mare. Like I've had a real mare with my hair at the moment. I had it cut and look, like these things happen, it's hair, but um, had way more chopped off it than kind of I wanted. So I'm trying to kind of work with all these layers that I have, but it's, I feel like it's already growing. I feel like it's already settling. So actually have my hair out today for once, which I feel like I haven't had in ages. Also thought I'd come on and take my multivitamins. I'm not gonna tell you guys like exactly what I take and things like that just because this isn't that kind of video, but I do feel like this week I've really neglected to take my multivitamins. I'm such a child and I really do prefer taking um, chewable, but I do have some non-chewable. I'm sorry, but those are really big. As I said, I've been working with Current Body at the moment and they very kindly sent me this, which is their daily foaming cleanser. Now I find nothing easier than a pump. There are so many like different types of cleansers, but I feel like sometimes my skin is, especially in the summer on the oilier side. I've been up for a while, so I've already done this step, but I just wanna show you guys what it looks like in the lid. So it's so satisfying and when you put it on, you really feel like you have a nice and clean base. I have to say, Current Body's packaging is so nice. Like, can you imagine on that little stand just sitting this kind of stuff up? And then I've also been trying their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I love Hyaluronic Acid. I just feel like it quenches that thirst that my skin feels like it has. As you guys can kind of see, I have, I would say quite sallow skin. I think it lacks a lot of color. And I always find that when I use Hyaluronic Acid, it just brings back that moisture. I kind of love the Chemist Feeding Pipette. Obviously it brings out the chemist in me, but I've really, really been enjoying this as you can see. I'm really dealing with struggling to wind down at the moment. I've just started a new business, which I just wanna say thank you so much for all of your support. It's just meant so, so much. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, obviously follow us here, but I have really struggled to switch off. Obviously I'm constantly in conversation with people, um, keeping up with them, booking appointments, posting on social media, and it's just kind of been a 24 seven thing. So I thought this morning I'd give myself a little pick me up. Last night I fell asleep and didn't get a chance to put this on, but I have been super diligent this week of keeping it on. I've actually been sleeping on it every single night except yesterday, and I'm gonna be popping on the Dr. Harris anti-wrinkle mask. It comes with like a little pouch, so great if you're traveling, etc. And Dr. Harris actually came up with the whole concept of this traveling. So he's kind of thought of everything. I'm sure a lot of you know that I have actually done his training course in aesthetics. So needless to say, I'm a huge fan and I just think he has a great approach to wellness and beauty kind of as a whole. The great thing about this mask and what makes it different to any other normal sleeping mask are these. I'm someone who, I've been doing this I think for about five years or so, I clench my jaw when I sleep and I find that I wake up in the morning with a sore jaw. Since I've been wearing this at night, I have found honestly just in a week, such a considerable difference in the pressure and also like the puffiness that I get in my face. So 
I think it's just one of those things that's an all-rounder. If you're pregnant, for example, and you can't get your normal anti-wrinkle treatments, or you don't like the idea of getting anti-wrinkle treatments, you know, having procedures done is not for everybody, and I totally understand that. If you are someone like me, though, and you do get anti-wrinkle treatments, and you want your results to be maintained, then this is great also because results of this mask in reducing fine lines and wrinkles are actually clinically proven by 64% if you wear it for just 15 minutes and results can last up to five hours. Now, obviously, I'm gonna be trying this out for a longer period of time as well, but it kind of speaks for itself. You can check out the current body uh, link down below where you can see before and after photos. So I'm just gonna put the mask on for you guys, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the science behind it. So all that the mask is working on are these little silicon dots. And as I said, it's not electric powered. You don't plug it in, nothing like that. But what makes it different to your average sleeping mask is these are designed to sit on specific pressure points in the forehead. So if you can imagine, we have thousands and thousands of receptors all over our skin on our face. But what this is targeting is those specific pressure points that have receptors that tell the body that pressure is being applied to them and they like that. Then what they in turn do is tell the body to calm and relax whilst also working on your fine lines and wrinkles. So it's doing, all its work whilst you are relaxing or sleeping so i actually forgot to put this on last night so i'm gonna put it on today for at least 15 minutes i'm gonna chill like i said today is a very rare me day that i feel like i haven't had in ages and all you do you pop on the mask you adjust it press between your eyebrows for five seconds this is just to make sure that it's in the correct place and sit back and relax for 15 minutes. Great thing about this is you can put this on at night, you can do this during the day, just before bed, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Also, another great thing, it's so blackout, so I literally cannot see a thing. And that just generally helps me with sleep. So definitely make sure to check out the link down below and get the mask for yourself. So I'm back. My neighbors seem to have annoyingly decided to mow the lawn outside. So if you can kind of hear that, I really do apologize. If I also look more sleepy than before, it's because I may have had a 20 minute shut eye. So 15 minutes kind of became 25 minutes. So makeup, so exciting. Um, I really don't feel like my makeup has changed recently, but I feel like one thing you guys are all gonna ask me about in this video is my nail polish. I'm obsessed with this brand. It's called Nailberry, and this shade is called Cherry Cherie. And to be honest with you, I've haven't had time honestly i haven't even had like an hour in the day where i can go and get my nails done or have my nails done so i've just resorted back to just doing them myself and unfortunately i think it's just going to be like that for the foreseeable i don't think i'm going out today so i'm not going to put sunscreen on but normally i have been so diligent about wearing sunscreen and my favorite during the summer was this duck, doctor, Dr. Dennis Gross, oil-free, real safe, SPF 30. I've just put a mirror behind the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. I've been really busy with fee and trying to obviously start a business is like, <laughs> it becomes sort of your baby. And especially kind of this coming week, I am, so busy and i've decided to kind of take it easy this bank holiday because it's going to be so crazy in the coming weeks guys i'm not going to talk too much about what i'm doing because i feel like you all know my trick is to apply less to the areas that don't need coverage another thing i've been doing recently is just mixing my foundation with my moisturizer but today like i said i've got my video calls and i just want some more coverage if you want to book in a video consultation with me guys if the appointment time you want is not 
on our website then just whatsapp me or dm me because i kind of make the times very generic but i also book people in outside for concealer i've been loving this elf it's called like the hydrating concealer mine's in medium peach it's just a really i love a satisfying brush but it gives a really nice coverage without looking cakey and it doesn't get on my contact lenses which i'm sure lots of you guys remember is like my number one pet peeve and i've been contouring my nose with liquids so i just got a darker shade of concealer and i find that it's just a little bit more natural to be honest it could be in my head i just blend that contour and i never used to take contour like up into my you know this area but i find it makes your nose look slimmer if you want a really quick nose contour this nyx sometimes i just go in and do a little bit extra this nyx stick is so good you know for like these areas this is like not the makeup i normally do for my nhs work this is more the makeup that i'll do if i'm going to fee i'm in a rush to catch the train then i just dust this off I don't let it sit for too long. Then I have a really beat up, I need to get a new one. Bronzer by Fenty. And. I'm kind of going high with it nowadays. Can you guys see? Like, I don't really bring it into my cheeks. I kind of sweep it higher. I literally just picked these up recently. They're like little blushes, but in a stick. I kind of think I'm going to go for the peachy one and this is what it looks like you can warm it up on the back of your hand but I just take a fluffy brush and I've been loving doing this I'm sure everyone watches HRH collection and she got the Charlotte Tilbury one but I wanted to spend less and see if I liked the look before I invest. And then because I love blush, I go over that with this Milani blush. This is in the colour Rose d'Oro, which just means gold in Italian. And I just sweep that over the top because you can't ever have too much blush in my opinion for highlighter i've gone back to using becca is in the color champagne pop I really do hope highlighter never goes anywhere because it's just my favorite i have the remnants of a lamination but i'm just using this revolution pro pencil and i really haven't been drawing in my brows much you guys and i like the look so much better to all of you who used to tell me my brows were a bit overdrawn i kind of agree and this is literally like the same colour as my eyebrows, it's not darker. So I feel like it's very natural. I'm going to do mascara off camera because I just don't think that's exciting and I'll be back. So I thought we would do lips to finish this off, boy do I need it. And I'm going to line my lips with my new favourite lip liner. I've been using this non-stop since probably July. 
and it's the Vive Cosmetics Velvet Sands Lip Liner. I have to be honest, normally I don't like soft lip liners. I like a harder lip pencil, like a MAC lip pencil, but this is the perfect shade of my lips, a little bit darker, so that when I put lipstick on, it just I don't know, it just makes them look more uniform. My lips are uneven at the moment. I'm letting my lip filler naturally dissolve. And yeah, it's just honestly, I've been obsessed with it. And it kind of goes with every single lipstick that I have. Line my lips. And I cheat a little bit. And can you guys see how soft that is? Like it's so just pretty. And then I'm really sorry, I've been using a limited edition lipstick. Um, I think this was a collab. I'm using like loads of YouTuber collabs today. This is the Fleur de Force uh, MAC lipstick collab. And I love this color. And I just find it goes really well with this. And that, you guys, is my everyday updated makeup routine. Nothing really changed. I also love using, um, when I don't want to wear a full lipstick, my Clarins Natural Lip Perfector in, this is 06. I also love, on days that I don't want to do lip liner, I just want to do lip gloss. This is the Laneige, 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 uh, Grapefruit Lip Glowy Balm such a nice product even if you want to pop this on let's say this has kind of worn off during the day i then want to put on a lip gloss um this hydrates my lips but also gives them you know like a little color really really nice and it smells so good to be honest favorite products out of this video are obviously dr harris anti-wrinkle mask check it out down below you will not you'll not be disappointed the little elf blushes i also really like this shade i think these were three pound or something crazy the nail berry nail polish vive lip liner milani blush get this color guys if you have i've got all my makeup in front of me if you have like this is dolce pink if you have that other shades you will love uh Rose Daro, honestly. Gives that kind of, can you see, like, tanned look. I think that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, this little chatty new products, and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.